what is going on crazy goose garage fam hello welcome back to the channel so it's been a little while um where did i leave off i left off in the interior of the truck we did a console and a base plate and currently neither of those are in um so reason behind that is because I was driving and well that was really close I was driving and um, the truck decided I wanted to cut out and then I wiggled a few wires and start up and then take it for a drive hit a hit a bump and it would cut out again so obviously there was a loose ground so what's the most logical thing you do you pull the entire loom out and you start again um, I spent probably a good five days redoing that and I didn't bring you with it because it was literally cut one wire, solder one wire, cut one wire, solder one wire, pulled the whole loom out. It was it was tedious and boring and you didn't want to see that. But I will show you what I have done. I'll just uh, flip the camera around and bring into the engine bay. Summer night, the shot of love and the spark of love to be. The stars are light and the month I'm not burned like the ground I leave. I will leave it all. So there she is, the perler of an engine. So what I've done is obviously I've reloomed everything. Um, what you may or may not know about these is the main plug for like the injectors and everything sticks out the front here. Also, it's a little bit windy today, so if that comes through on the video, I'm very sorry. But what I've done is, or what I did, was I split the loom into three. So I've still got some running down the inside of the guard to the headlights. So there's the headlights. And I've got some running from the corner, it goes under the booster, and it tucks in to the back here. So the main plug is right there. So that big bulky plug is hidden away from the front. Got the O2 sensor. All right, video stopped recording there for some reason. Got the O2 sensor. And yeah, so what I did was I took the intake off, took out the injector loom, pulled it all apart, and then re rewired it to go backwards rather than forwards. Then I've got another part that runs down the passenger's guard, which is passenger's headlights, horn, Mass sensor, window wiper, and window washer. And that comes out, can we see it? Down there. Comes down there and up the back here, and then tucks it under. So it goes into the back, into the guard through there. Yeah, so it's looking, looking a bit neater. The question is, what are we doing today? Well, you know, recently it's been interior, 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 interior this, interior that. So I thought, why why break a habit? Let's do some more interior. I'm kidding. What I want to do is extend the fenders. Now on these Mazdas, they kind of, they cut. When they go to the front, they cut halfway down because that's where the bumper goes. That doesn't work out with what I want to do. So let's uh, let's let's take a look. So what, what I mean is, you see, it comes up there and runs across there, and that's where the normal bumper would go. Now, that's not my plan for this truck. So what I'm gonna do is, here's those fenders I picked up from the Reco run. I'm gonna cut it somewhere down there and weld it. So that's what we're doing today. Try and make this a short one. I'm traveling into the unknown. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll give it a shot. All right, so I've got you set up in this awkward camera position because that's what this channel's known for. Anyway, the idea is that I wanna cut the same amount off that is here so that when I weld this to the front guard, it'll drop down and it'll be the same. So, that will be like that goes in along that line there. 
So you know what? Probably be better if I use tape to make this line. Take gloves off for now. What? You don't keep electrical tape in your pocket? You should. Some sparks towards my wife's car. Yep, still in. I'm not too worried about this, I'm going to sort that out later. A bit of a gap there, it's okay once we get the get it ground. Tack welded in, we'll uh, massage that into place. I think it's alright. I'm going to tape it up, take a step back, see what it looks like. From there. I like it, I like where that is. Now I'm going to take off that little, I don't think it's where it is, I'll take off that a little bit. Uh, grinder and welder. That looks pretty even. Yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so I've got that bit of uh, trim off. Now obviously it's left a bit of a bit of adhesive. So with the tools from Horace Wheel or with the tools from Horace Works scraper and caramel wheel, we're gonna remove it. So this is the plastic blade scraper. It does not have metal in it, so I'll use that to get the first bit off. That works a treat. Then I'm gonna use the caramel wheel. Simply attach it to the drill. Send it spinning. Hey, put it on reverse. Or just lock it in there real quick. Wedge it up against that. I 
reckon if you used a power drill that spun a bit faster, it would probably work a lot better, but this is working really well. In fact, I'm gonna plug it into my power drill. I'll, uh, I'll leave you here and I'll show you the finished result. It's quite good. It's not, um, it's not ruining the pristine paint of this little panel. As you can see, it hasn't taken any paint off but the weather's taking the paint off. All right, so I got all them cleaned up and welded. Got it kind of held in place with some tape. And um, I'm about to do some welding. Now, I'm not a welder, so what you're about to witness is something special. And um, I just gotta hope that it, it sticks together. Uh, what I also found out is that my panel has a lot of body filler in it, which makes me now think I should have used the ones I got from the scrapyard bolted them up because I've also drilled a ton of holes up here trying to figure out how to do bonnet struts but um we're here now so get to it just a couple of little tacky tacks and hey it held become one that's a little special take the tape off and uh, tack it up a little more and then I'll massage this bit maybe I'll massage that bit out this bit in see how we go I'll figure it out when I get there all right I might stick you on a time lapse for this one just because this is probably going to take me a while. Alright, so I'm at this point here. Then the camera pick it up. There's a good old Gapasaurus right there. So, I bashed it in a little bit. What I'm going to do, taking the guard off, and cut some relief cuts across there. Maybe cut that tab out a little bit. And, um, Bash it in with my uh, best body work hammer. There. Let's see how this goes. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm probably going to break this. Helps if it's plugged in. Hey, 
All right, like I said, I am not a welder. This is probably my second or third time welding. I blew a couple of holes in there and there. I'm gonna grind it back and um, we'll go again for round two. It didn't warp and you know what, it's on there. That's a win, right? Well folks, there we have it. That is harder on there, that ain't coming off. Um, grinder and paint, make sure you're the welder you ain't, and a little bit of body filler. Yeah, I'll whip up some body filler, smooth it on there. No one will know. Let's take a step back. Oh, welding helmet. Yeah, I'm happy with it. On to the next thing. So, genius here, just recorded. This whole funny little bit um, where I was filling in that. What it was like was uh, find your oldest tin of body filler that you've got. It's probably been sitting in my garage for about five years. It started to separate, which is perfect. And what I've used is just a piece of plastic I got out of the recycling bin. It's not margarine lid. Um, worked well because it, it bends and conforms to that body line. Hardener folded it. But what's really good about this is it's reusable. Shit just picks off. Perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna let that harden up. And I'll sand it, spray it, call it done. This will be a quick video. You don't need to come to the other side and watch me do this side. And there we have it folks, grinder and paint, make you the welder you ain't, I'm pretty happy with that, I'm going to um, can do the other side, you don't need to see me do that, it's going to be the same process, rinse and repeat, keep this video nice and short, obviously this paint job is not going to be it, but uh, it's it for now. Let's take a step back. Yeah, I like it. All right, thanks for joining in again and uh, watching this video. Kept it short. Hope that's more to your guys' liking. Let me know if you like the long, in-depth videos or if you like the shorter ones. Um, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm gonna do what I want. You can watch it, you don't have to. But if you do watch it and you do like it, Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what you think of Squeaky. There's plenty more to come, so uh, stay tuned. Do subscribe if you want to see what sort of stuff I'm going to do to this thing. Peace. Remember, procrastinating is time you're wasting.